hello friends welcome back to our channel so today we will discuss about uh, various operations that can be performed on list in R programming so operations on list concept so the first operation is the manipulations that means adding elements deleting elements and updating elements this is a common operation that can be performed on any data structure so we'll see how we can add so this can be done with the help of uh, index and this can be done with the help of assigning a null value okay assigning null and this is also possible with the help of index so now we'll uh, see by demonstrating with an example so i'll open the r studio so i'll erase all the previous data now let us take a two list uh, or one list l1 is equal to list function of uh, 10 20 30 40 50 60 and we can print first and let us check yes so this is 10 20 30 40 50 60 right now addition of elements simply we can know we can access the elements with the help of index right so if you give the index inside the subscript so it will display that particular element right so you can see here and we know that the index starts with one and if you go with the six the element is 60 and if you try to access a seventh index value so we'll get a null now let us take that l of 7 is equal to 70 and execute sorry here we have taken l1 right okay so l1 of 7 is equal to 70 and after that assignment you can simply execute to print l1 so you will get total seven elements okay so this is how we can add a few more elements to the list and the second one see deleting how we can delete so that will be done by just assigning a null value to that particular index for example if you want to uh, delete the element 7 okay so l of 7 is equal to use a word null keyword null and simply try to print the l once again and you will not l1 l1 right so you'll not get the 7 okay what happens if you remove the fifth one so that means fifth element means a 50 okay now execute so you can see the 50 has been removed okay so we if, if you assign a null value to the particular index that element will be deleted and the next if you want to update the elements if you want to update the elements so you can use l1 of 5 or l1 of uh, 2 is equal to 200 and once again print l1 and you will be finding the second element as a 200 so previously it was 20 and now it was 200 okay so these are the basic operations that means manipulating the list that means addition of elements how we can add the elements how we can uh, delete the elements and how we can update the elements so update means nothing but a reassignment of an list now the next operation is conversion so conversion of vector sorry list to vector see in this example we can check class of l1 which will give it as a vector sorry list list now how we can 
convert this list to vector so simply give the vector name some v is equal to use a function called unlist unlist of l1 and simply print v and you will be finding all the elements so you can observe previously if it is a list you will get uh, the elements to be displayed in this way okay with the help of indexes okay and if it is a vector we will get the elements in this way and once again you can check the class class of l1 sorry v which is nothing but a numeric it's a vector it is a vector right so by using unlist function using unlist function list name right so by using the unlist function we can convert any list into a vector and now the next operation is a merging that means uh, simply a concatenation we can say merging of two list so that will be done with the help of list function itself okay we have to pass a multiple list into that list function so that uh, the, the multiple list will be get merged see for example we can take it as uh, three elements and uh, consider l2 is equal to list of 100 200 and 300 and see pass both the list into a list function right so l3 is equal to list of l1 comma l2 so this will be combining both the list elements and we'll get a single element i mean single list see so it was considering as a nested list it was considering as a nested list because you can observe here the first row or first element and this first element will be having two indexes right 10 and 20 sorry three indexes 10 20 30 and again the second element we are having three indexes and uh, the elements are 100 200 and 300 so merging means by using the list function we can combine a multiple list you can also take the third one so l3 is equal to list of uh, minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 and you can go with the 4 l4 is equal to list of l1 l2 and l3 and you can execute so it will combine every element sorry l4 we are printing l3 here and we need to print l4 okay so l4 so we'll get every element see first element index 1 second element index 2 third element index 3 again in the first element again in the first element there are three more elements so three indexes 1 2 and 3 and coming to the second element again we are having three indexes 1 2 3 and again in the third element we are having a two in, three indexes 1 2 3 so like this we can merge a multiple list into a single list okay so for that we have to uh, use a list function okay use a list function and these are all the operations that can be performed on list in r programming so hope you understood and enjoyed so if you are having any doubts regarding this uh, concept feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much